Okay, I will I will let you know. I will let you know for sure. I might like ask in the Discord or something at some point, which I have not been active in since they started it. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm so excited. You'll have to let me know if the volume and stuff's okay. Working on a Star Wars game is a dream come true. Yeah. <laughs> I've had all of the toys, and it's wild to go from making these little stories on the carpet to actually build a narrative in the Star Wars galaxy. Massive Entertainment is the perfect choice to build an open world Star Wars game because it is inherent to their DNA as a studio to deliver on incredible open world experiences. Mm -hmm. Massive Entertainment are master storytellers for open world games. This is going to be a fresh experience for Star Wars fans everywhere. How is the volume, guys? Immediately, I had that in my head. All the possibilities of where do we want to go? What can we bring to Star Wars oh, that has not been seen before? That's so nice. Oh, that's such nice art. Lucas be louder. suggested that the perfect era to set Outlaws Sorry. would be between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. If that's better, let What's me know. If that's too loud, that let me know. The timeline is this is a moment where the civil war between the Empire and the Rebellion is at its height. And this creates an environment across the galaxy where Outlaws can thrive. That's the world Solo. that Kay is stepping into. And she sees the opportunity just like anybody else. Ah, his little face. We will see some really cool syndicates both from existing it's war Matt. and newly oh created for the game. When you play Star Wars Outlaws, you get a chance to discover what the underworld is like and live through those experiences. <laughs> the stakes are definitely very high for Kay's journey through the underworld but she learns, she adapts, she sneaks around, and she finds herself in very important spaces with very powerful people. Building the world of Star Wars Outlaws, first thing we had to do was think of places where outlaws Whoa. thrive. It looks so beautiful. These hubs of scum and villainy. The most exciting thing is being able to go back to iconic locations that people know and love but then diving into the Lucasfilm archives and really bringing them alive in a new, but very I have so genuine many goosebumps, way. man. It's not just about recreating Tatooine as you know it. Going back to the classic sources of spaghetti westerns, we tried to recreate an authentic mood and feel as we build new points of interest to follow the already established history. And there is a new location that we collaborated with Massive Entertainment on called Toshara. And this has been built from the ground up with the scoundrel fantasy at its beating heart. Oh. Hang on. Our goal is that you feel like you're stepping into Star Wars. And that means going back to those Macquarie concepts, going back to Joe Johnston's storyboards, Phil Tippett's creature designs, and creating a lived-in galaxy. Oh, look at the little droid! We're trying oh. to create a world that feels alive and bustling with opportunity that also is very grounded. And we're getting this inspiration guy on the from ground. the African savanna. But we still want to add the alien element. And that is what makes it feel like Star Wars. We want to give Toshara some elements that make it really stand out in the Star Wars galaxy. So there are windswept plains, veins of emberine. Oh, that's and pretty. And there's a vibrant city called Mirogana that's built into a huge rock that's been carved out by the wind that's ever present on Tashara. Damn! One thing that we need to always keep in mind is there's always a connection between the biome, and what grows there, what lives there, like the flora, fauna, and the culture of the people who inhabit the place. From how the plants pollinate, or how vegetation and local resources are used in local clothing and buildings, to even how the locals have adopted wind into their way of life. Dude. We have created everything with an authentic approach, so players will experience all these places like someone who actually is there. We made it, Nick. <laughs> oh, his little Working noises! With Massive, <laughs> we were able to really build out an authentic Star Wars world where you can travel, explore, and discover in a way that we really haven't been able to experience in modern Star Wars gaming. <laughs> the the B-X droid. <laughs> the high stakes Sir. scoundrel lifestyle 
and the open world promise allowed us to create a game within this, Star Wars this, that had this, never been done before. The flying, Not just I am so excited. Exploring cities, but also getting onto your speeder and race across stunning wilderness. Oh. Then jump into your ship, the Trailblazer, yeah. and go on an incredible adventure. We've only scratched the surface of what Star Wars so Outlaws has to offer. There is so much more that you will get to embody and use and play wow. when you become k -Vess. Players are gonna oh. love Star Wars Outlaws. It's gonna be exciting. It's very adventurous, <laughs> and that's what makes it Star Wars. So I'm very excited to, to share that. So, where do we go next? Anywhere we want. Star Wars Outlaws, coming 2024. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that was so cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The hype is so fucking real. The hype is so real, guys. Oh my god. I cannot wait till next year. I can't wait for more Nicks. He's just, look at him. Look at him. Oh my god. <laughs> What do you guys think? Are you guys excited as well? Are you guys as excited as I am? Oh my goodness. Hi, Jordan. How are you doing? Loving a Swator, being able to just chill and walk around my ship. Yeah, I, I, I like... I'm, I'm excited for this. I like that it would just like kind of like walk around and do my own thing. Super excited. Hell yeah, I am also very excited. I don't any I think anyone is as excited as you are. I mean, I think I think me and Ruthie are kind of on the same level. I think we're kind of just on the same level of just like scream. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just ah <laughs> That's all it's in my head is just the ah! Okay, that was a little bit too perfect timing. That was a little bit too fucking perfect. 